There is always something to be thankful for. If you believe that and you want to start each day with a grateful heart, then let me introduce you to gratitude journaling. I have personally been gratitude journaling for nearly a decade, and it has taken many different forms throughout those 10 years. I have created a list every day. I have used my bullet journal to document a few things I'm grateful for or reflect on the month. I've included it in my creative journaling as I'm memory keeping. And this year, I've been focusing on doing monthly review pages where I sit down at the end of the month and reflect on all that I have to be grateful for, all of the highlights from my month, and I create a journal entry that captures all of those things at a glance. I highly recommend this form of journaling, and I do have a video all about it if you're interested in learning more. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you one of the easiest ways to start gratitude journaling, and that is to create a gratitude log at the beginning of each month that then you can fill out with one thing you are grateful for each day. We're going to be creating this spread in just a little bit, but first I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is my go-to place when I want to learn something new and explore my creativity in a community setting where I can learn from thousands and thousands of different creators who are sharing their skills and their interests with the community. There are literally classes on every subject you could possibly imagine, ranging from animation, design, illustration, lifestyle, writing, business, and of course, art. I am currently taking a class on the very topic of gratitude journaling by Helen Colebrook, and I cannot recommend it enough. But of course, there also are classes on every other type of journaling as well, and you will have immediate access to all of them, including Helen's class and every single one that you are seeing here when you join Skillshare. And I'm so pleased to share that Skillshare is kindly giving our community one month completely free for you to have access to Helen's class on gratitude journaling and thousands and thousands of others for completely free. So check out the link down below to get your one month free to access this class and so many others on Skillshare. And now I invite you to pull up a chair at the table with me, grab a hot cup of cocoa like I have and your journal, and let's gratitude journal together. Today I'm going to be using these gratitude stickers that I created for my patrons over on Patreon. These are on the theme of Grateful Heart that my patrons picked for the month of November, and I'm so excited to be able to finally play with these in my journal. If you are interested in having access to these stickers and so many others, as well as exclusive videos and a monthly journal with me live stream, definitely check out patreon.com slash myabidingjournal. I do have a video that I most recently made all about my Patreon, and I will link that up in the cards. So the first thing I wanted to do with my page is do a little bit of decorating. And so I'm just cutting out some of the stickers that I wanted to personally use for this entry. I really love these border stickers of the flowers and I thought they would look great to frame my page on the top and bottom. I am using two pages for my gratitude journal spread because I want to make sure I'm giving myself enough room to write one thing I'm grateful for every day while also allowing there to be some space between the lines. Now, it is important to mention that I am working in a larger notebook. I personally use a Moleskin Extra Large Cahier notebook, which is close to an 8.5 by 11 sheet. It's a little bit smaller, but it is a big notebook. If you are working in a smaller notebook, then you might want to actually use three or four pages to do your gratitude journaling. 
And if you don't even have a notebook yet and you're not sure where to start, I do have a video all about how to choose the perfect notebook for the type of journaling you are interested in, whether that's gratitude journaling or a combination of different types of journaling. So I'll put that video up in the cards for you to check out next. Now, of course, decorating your page and doing more of a creative style is by no means necessary when it comes to gratitude journaling. It is a personal preference. I enjoy the creative process, as you will see from my other videos. I am very much a creative journaler. That's what I enjoy doing. But you can easily gratitude journal just with a pen and a notebook, simply creating a list, write down one thing you are grateful for, and then pull out the notebook the next day, write something else, and on and on with nothing more than a pen. But if you do want to get more creative, you might consider bringing a little bit of color in, maybe with some highlighters or markers, or use it as an opportunity to try a new skill that you maybe even learn over on Skillshare, like hand lettering. That's what I'm doing here, a little bit of brush lettering for my title of a gratitude log using a mild liner highlighter. This brings in color and a little bit of interest with a more creative style of writing. Whether you get creative or not, I always do recommend creating a little bit of a title for your page. You can write out gratitude log, you can name the month and the year, just so that when you are looking back in the future, you know exactly when you were writing all of these things to be grateful for, and it can also then serve as a form of memory keeping as well. I also love bringing in quotes on gratitude journaling pages. I love to bring in quotes that have to do with gratitude, like this one that says, begin each day with a grateful heart. But I encourage you to look up other quotes on gratitude and see which ones are speaking to you. See which quotes make you want to reflect on all of the reasons you have to be grateful for and remind you why that is so important. It really is a mindful, spiritual, important practice that helps to ground us and connect us with our blessings and the glory that is life, even when things are hard. And that's why I personally love gratitude journaling because it really is something that serves us best when things are not great, when they're harder, and it encourages us to reflect on those small things tucked within the ordinary, tucked within the challenges, the trials, the difficult times that remind us there are so many reasons to hold on, to press through the difficulties and see that there will be light on the other side. And our gratitude journal actually serves as a way of seeing those pinpricks of light glimmering through the darkness like stars in the sky so that we can be reminded of the bigger picture. And in that way, this small practice of writing down one thing you are grateful for every day can completely change your outlook on life and will help you to see those small joys in every day, those reasons you have to hold on, and the fact that certain things will never change even as your circumstances go up and down. Faith, hope, and love will abide. And when we take a moment to be grateful and step back and reflect on all that we have to give thanks for, those are the times when we're able to most clearly see that God is good and his promises are sure and faith, hope, and love are truly abiding. I cannot help but to get a little bit deep and reflective on the subject of gratitude journaling because I really do believe in its power to transform and heal us so sincerely. And I hope that that comes across and I hope that it inspires you to give gratitude journaling a try. See how it works for you. 
try it for at least a month, maybe a few months to see some of these positive effects that it really can have. There are many studies that prove the mental health benefits of gratitude journaling and I'm sure that there are many in this community who could also offer personal testimonies to how gratitude journaling has improved their own lives. So if you are one of those people, I would love for you to leave a comment on how gratitude journaling has been beneficial for you. As I complete this entry, I also wanted to add a verse. This is Psalm 9, 1 through 2. And this is actually a memory verse I'm working on this month with my patrons. We are learning scripture together on the Abiding Faith tier using memory verse cards. And I really believe that scripture writing is a great way to memorize scripture. So I wanted to add it onto this page since all of the verses we are memorizing this month have to do with gratitude. As you can see, I also took some time to number all of my lines and I included a box to reflect on what I learned this month through the process of gratitude journaling and I encourage you to do the same. Finally, before we end this video, I did want to give you a little glimpse at the types of things that I personally have included so far this month in my gratitude log. The first thing I wrote down for day one was a calm evening run at dusk that I went on with my dog. Very small, very simple, and yet it was a good moment and it was important to reflect on and I was really grateful for it. I also reflected on my dad because it's his birthday this month and how grateful I am for him. I reflected on getting the opportunity to go to the Outer Banks, which is a vacation spot that we have visited for the past few years, and it was a real blessing to be able to do so again this year. And those, I hope, give you a little glimpse at just how small these things can be. You don't need to have anything lofty in your gratitude journaling. Just pick out one small thing to be grateful for every day. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video has encouraged you to give gratitude journaling a try for yourself. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have made it to the end of this video, let us know down in the comments one thing you are grateful for today. If you want more journaling content from me, there is a ton here on my channel. I have lots more to say about gratitude journaling and other types of reflection in this video here, so do check that out or my most recent upload, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Until then, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love.